All right, well, the sun was supposed to come out today, but it's kind of still hazy and overcast. So I'm gonna head out to Ocean Beach and see if there's anything to paint. Ooh, I think I can make it. Oh, is this whole road closed down? I guess so. This is the Great Highway. Usually there's a lot of traffic, but I see people walking. Ocean Beach is probably one of the windiest beaches I've ever painted on. And today is no exception. Super windy. This is gonna be a tough one. This is one of those times where it's like, the light is not good. The subject matter, I mean, I guess it's okay, but it's just a wide open space here. And there's not a lot of, it's gonna be challenging to make this interesting. I'll give you the full panorama. I mean, there's some nice color in the water for sure. I do like these reflections right here. So what I might do is just do like a little snapshot of the ocean. Um, there is some color in the sky as well. I do like these hills in the background. This is the Marin Headlands. So I might incorporate them as well. All right, I'm gonna set up and paint. Can you tell I'm sort of like procrastinating? <laughs> All right, I saw some beautiful color out there. All right, it's go time. All right, so here's the compositional idea. Uh, I'm gonna feature some mountains in the background. This is Marin Headlands here. And then uh, I'm gonna have even uh, further distant mountains over on this side, which is more of the Marin Headlands, but they're just further pushed back. That'll create a sense of depth. Uh, at first I was gonna try to have a view looking more down the beach like this, but I decided instead that I wanna kind of be looking straight out and have like some forward motion in the water. Um, and obviously the mountains are over here, so I'm gonna move them over here. I mixed up some sky color. This is titanium white with a touch of phthalo blue. And then for the distant mountains, I've got, um, you know, the marine headlands that are closer are this sort of ultramarine that I've grayed down with some burnt sienna. And then I just added white, and this will be the marine headlands that are further in the distance. a rough in this was very quick you know first thing I want to do is get color on the panel and then I can start adjusting from there uh, the thing I'm most attracted to again is this wet sand here so I'm going to concentrate on the value shift between the wet sand and the dry sand and then also trying to get some of these uh, you know nice blue greens out in the ocean but there's not a real organized wave pattern it's because it's like onshore it is super windy out here so uh, I'm gonna have to make up an interesting wave pattern. All right, so I decided to work on the sky and then I'll kind of work my way down. By determining the sky color, then I can determine what the sky reflection color is. So I decided to, yeah, like I said, start with that. I wanna make the, uh, this, the shape of this um, white, or the wet sand a little more interesting. And yeah, so I'm kind of looking for ideas for that. And I want to kind of have some motion in the brush strokes coming in this direction. So that's kind of the idea. And then the waves are going to kind of come maybe at an angle, a slight angle like this. So maybe have the motion coming like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll give that a try.
warms and cools into some of these shapes. Like I put some cerulean, well not cerulean, but phthalo blue and white over the ultramarine uh, blue and white. And then also a little bit of, for the white water here, this has got a little bit of yellow in it. Whereas this is just titanium white straight out of the tube. I'll probably put some highlights on these waves. I do like these kind of aqua cl colors in here. I was seeing them, I was seeing those colors on, uh, you know, in the top of the white water when it's breaking. Um, so the only area here is just kind of trying to find something, some way to make this interesting. There's a little white water here, and then I put a little bit of reflection of that white water. Uh, let's see if I can show you right here. All right, so the wind is really picking up. It is freezing out here. I'm gonna pack up. We'll go back to the house and take a look. Spring is almost here. Look at this. The blossoms on that tree puts joy in my heart. I'll start with the things that I like. I do like the irregular shape of the white water here. I also kind of like how the waves, you know, uh, come in at an angle like this. I had to make the waves a kind of a duller blue-green. I think when I started they were just it was too tropical looking um, and Ocean Beach is not tropical, <laughs> you know, like every time I go there. It's just crazy uh, Because the winds come in this direction. They blow on shore and it's just Yeah, it's brutally windy um, so hopefully I've captured some of the feeling of that. I think by creating motion in the strokes in this direction, it does create energy like that, that maybe gives you the idea that it's windy. Plus also to all the white caps and the fact that the water is, there's not like really organized waves. It's more just like, you know, a bunch of crumbling waves. Okay, so as usual, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, uh, I've got a Patreon link down below. Uh, I just counted up the extra videos I have on Patreon. It's over 125 videos, so there's a lot to look at. Um, so yeah, like I said, link down below. Other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.